Put on your goggles. It's time for another two-minute tech tip. Coming to you from the OTN Lounge here in the OTN Multimedia Complex at Oracle Open World 2015. I'm Bob Rubart with the Oracle Technology Network with another two minutes of technical insight from a member of the Oracle community. Hi, I'm Michael Rainey, Data Integration Practice Lead at Ritman Mead. If you're ready, your two minutes starts now. All right, today I want to talk about a tech tip on uh, that's really focused on what I talked about here in my presentation at Open World. Uh, I focused on the Kimball ETL subsystems and walking through the data integration solutions and, and how you could actually use those solutions uh, to implement the, the ETL subsystems. So there are 34 ETL subsystems within the, the Kimball methodology, and I can't hit on all of those. Uh, some of them, though, are around data quality. Uh, and with data quality and data screening, you can use either Oracle Aided Data Integrator uh, and the Check Knowledge Module, uh, so you can check certain constraints, such as uh, primary key constraints or conditions where you're filtering out bad data, and those can get shoved off into an error table. Now, you can take it a step further, use something like Enterprise Data Quality, and you can have a lot more processors and power behind the types of things you can uh, check uh, as far as the, the, the data quality. So you can start checking data lengths uh, and repairing data, and again, you can take the, the data off to the side. Another new feature that I wanted to talk about was the versioning and lifecycle management. So that's another set of subsystems, a couple of the two, and we have a nice new feature in ODI 12.2.1, uh, integration with subversion for lifecycle management. So you can create branches, uh, which will be brand new repositories, uh, your developers can go off, uh, do development on the branch, and then merge it back into the main trunk. Also with that, you can go ahead and create what's called a deployment archive. So we've always had a little bit of issue trying to migrate from dev to test to prod uh, all of your execution objects. So now we can use what's called this deployment archive, move things across easily, do an initial uh, deployment, or patch deployments as you go across the uh, from each environment. Thank you. Well, that gives you a pretty general idea of what's happening. Did you like that tip? Uh, sure. Let us know and stay tuned.